for health from the Mira County, uh, Dr. Bati. Of course, that is a fight against malaria. That is just a media briefing that's being held here in Nairobi. The World Malaria Day is actually marked on 25th April um, each year. So we'll be telling you about that when that starts, of course. But now I want us to move on to another function that is currently happening in Mombasa where the deputy governors are holding a consultative meeting. They're just basically deliberating on issues, uh, emerging issues, of course, affecting county governments. It's happening in Mombasa. Let's just cross over there and see what's happening. It's so, so great, so, so big for us to do, and it's better we embark exactly on that. Thank you. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. Thank you. Thank you, our CSS. Your Excellency, it is now my pleasure to invite our host governor, His Excellency uh, Sharif Nasser, who will invite uh, the whip of COG to invite His Excellency. Your Excellency, sir. Sharif. Your Excellency, uh, the Deputy President, uh, CSS, my brother, Sang, my Deputy Governor, Walioko Hapa, Hamjambo na habari za asubuhi. Your Excellency, I'll be very, very brief and to the point because I know that you have a very, very busy schedule ahead of you. And I know that the gentlemen and ladies in this room have quite a lot of deliberations that they need to do. One is uh, an internal word of advice. I advise myself as I wish to advise my fellow colleagues. Those in front of us with gadgets that have little red lights on top will never pick anything else except your dirty linen. That you can take it. They will never be able to pick anything else. Everything that is going to be talked about here today, all the gains, the benefits of devolution will never be picked. But anything that will be able to ensure that space is sold, that uh, airtime is, uh, you know, received with a lot of awe and shock. So my advice, don't wash your dirty linen in public. If there's an issue, sit down, deliberate on those issues before starting to say that you want to expose them out because all the good deeds that you will be doing will go down the drain. I want to give an example, and probably it's a calling to my colleagues as well. When we got sworn in, Your Excellency, we, our elections were delayed. So we are actually behind by almost 60 days, considering that our elections were delayed. Then on top of it at all, uh, our swearing in had to go constitutional with certain time, time frames. So on average, we're about 60 days behind everyone else in this country. But the first thing that we did, when I sat down with my brother, Francis, is we assigned roles and I said, let me handle this, you handle this, as we are going to continue moving forward. And I've heard the plea that is here. I took the initiative, not only did I sign an executive order where I delegated responsibilities of what needs to be done in the department, but I also picked up the phone and called SRC myself. And after that call, I even made a letter that I personally wrote to the Public Service Board and to SRC, stating the belief that the role that I've given to my deputy, he deserves this and this and this. And I think there's, there's totally, and, uh, and uh, he's done an excellent job. Even today, I will ask you that you don't hold him for too long because there's, uh, there's something that he has to go and do as I'm also going to be with, uh, with uh, the deputy. Your Excellency, and um, lastly, there's no better forum to discuss about issues to do with devolution than a forum like this. The way I look at it is we need to look at every challenge, not as an obstacle, but as an opportunity. Your Excellency, we came on board, and this is now the plea that counties have to national government, that we need better harmony, better uh, understanding, better cohesion, so that that spirit of 48 governments under one nation can be able to be enshrined, not in word, but in uh, through actions. 
An example, Your Excellency, is we inherited, there's no county here that did not inherit pending bills. We inherited bills, pending bills worth billions. First thing that we were able to do, Your Excellency, cabinet, uh, county cabinet was able to pass a resolution that we need to come up with a solution. A solution was able to be provided. We've talked to the financial institutions and we're lumping out all approved and confirmed pending bills to be negotiated and we have already finalized with a financial institution to buy off all those bills where now my, my burden is one payment to a financial institution at the end of the month so that my CCs don't start getting court orders that they have to be arrested because of a pending bill they were not even aware of. But Your Excellency will now need Treasury's concurrence. And this is now where the cohesion is going to be able to come in. That we acknowledge that there's pending bills. We can either decide to lump them aside and continuously fight, or negotiate and reduce those pending bills, pay them, inject money into the economy, and in turn, counties can be able to offset this as we are trying to get on our feet in many things. Your Excellency, we understand that there's no money. We truly do understand. I feel the plight of national government. I feel the plight when, when uh, you know, we are discussing and you say that there is, uh, there is no money. But when we are four months behind, and I know uh, Gov Governor Sang may not uh, uh, say it much, but when uh, a county like Mombasa, which uh, almost 85% of our equitable share, Your Excellency, goes to salaries. When you're four months behind and the staff don't want to know anything, doctors are about to go on strike. Kamasi ile akili hapa na pale, Your Excellency, that I was able to, to strike some issues with banks and uh, our own source revenue, I would have not been able to pay salaries yesterday. And we would have been another dilemma with the rains and the, the, uh, everything else. So we're asking for the support in things like uh, contribution in lieu of rates, that the state departments that own properties for all counties in this country. These are issues that have been discussed from the first Council of Governors till today. And I don't think any contribution in lieu of rates has been paid. And I am... Right, that is Mombasa Governor.